All right, I figured I'd give an update on this project since I haven't made any updates in a while. Uh, this one will be more sort of impromptu sort of style. Essentially, this planning bit is done. And I didn't make any videos showing the progress anymore just because I I'm certainly bored of looking at this mess of diagrams that I've created. And if we take a look at this current graph in its current form, you can see it's working okay. It is making some sort of wave. It's not the perfect sine wave that I would have imagined back when I was a child, but my standards for this project have dropped quite low, so I'm, I'm fine with that. I might have to wait a while before I can get around to testing it soon, because I made a very silly mistake. Uh, there was at a point where uh, this section of the thing I hadn't made yet, and the rest of it drew so little current that I, I could spend $12 buying a power source that can handle like 2 or 3 amps, but I can spend like $1 less and buy a power source that can handle half an amp. And I was thinking, that's fine, I'm saving like a single dollar and I don't need much current anyway. But as it turns out, this last section here, particularly this 8 ohm resistor, requires like the vast majority of current. So like prior to adding this speaker section here, all the rest of it was drawing like a couple milliamps at the very most. And uh, now it's drawing almost one amp. It's, it's not quite, but essentially the power source that I cheaped out on, it turned out I needed the very, very slightly more expensive one after all. So I want to do another experiment. You'll notice that currently the voltage going through the speaker is... DC almost. It's like an offset sort of waveform that like has a minimum at zero and a maximum at around about like three volts or so. And I want to make sure that this actually like still works if this is not going to break or something because it's like offset as opposed to being centered at zero. If not, then I might be able to like use a capacitor through it to like do the thing, but hopefully I don't need to worry about that. All right, I've got this set up where there's like a combination of direct and alternating current going into the speaker. And you know, I'm curious to see how it sounds, whether it sounds weird or not. Alrighty, so I've currently got it sending a 200 hertz frequency with no offset. Uh, so this is like our control. I've got a resistor in series, which is decreasing the amount of current and therefore the amount of power that is being used. If I increase this offset by 500 millivolts, now there's a, a bit of a DC offset. You can't really see much of a difference here because the resistor is sort of soaking up a bunch of it. If I increase this offset, you can see the wave has moved physically up. However, the sound has not really changed. So you probably can't hear it because it's fairly quiet because I'm trying not to send too much voltage through it, but it is working as I want it to, which is good. The voltage offset is not making a difference to the sound. So I don't know when I'll make the next episode. I wanna, I wanna get into actually building something. Of course, I'll need to get a higher current power source, as I said before. And we should be good.